Welcome, Cancer. Let's see what is coming in for you for the month of November regarding love. If I do see any other messages come in regarding finances or career, I will let you guys know. So let's see what's coming in for November for the month of November. This will be your monthly reading. We have the Spirit of Swords. There's some breakthrough coming in. Okay. Um, the Spirit of Swords could be like somebody's very eager to come towards you. They're wanting to communicate or there's a need for clarity, but it can feel like somebody here can be a little scattery when they're like scattered energy, okay? The Two of Wands, somebody here also can be feeling like they made the wrong choice. We have the Magician in the reverse. Due to trickery, your intuition is feeling this, okay? You have an inner knowing about this. The Nine of Rings energy also could come in as somebody feeling unworthy someone feeling like they're codependent on other things um it feels like this person is struggling whoever this may be we have you coming in with this four of pentacles and the justice is coming in with this energy here and this position the four of swords is the challenge and the three of wands um is coming through okay so it feels like the challenge is is somebody making a move okay there's could be a, a, a distance or a separation or a disconnect at this time but it's like somebody here is not making a move the moon is here in this person's mind so this is showing a lot of uncertainty things that are hidden behind like the scenes so there's some type of mystery when it comes to this person on how they view this. They're very uncertain with the moon. They're not sure what's going on. They feel like things are, like they have to listen to their intuition, but also it feels like there's also some a lot of insecurity being in this type of mindset for this person because they could be having dreams about you. They could be subconsciously, like can't get you off their mind. And I feel it's because your energy is blocked and you're separated. And there's some type of justice here, which can represent communication or truth, um, karmic justice or consequences. But there's a need for some type of balance. There's a life lesson here for this person. Ooh, we have the two of cups coming in with the sun and the four of cups and the star. So the major arcanas I'm seeing that are making a big impact in November for you is justice, which is truth, your intuition, the moon, which is things that were hidden is going to be revealed, okay? We also have the star, which is about healing, a renewal, kind of going into this feeling of hope again, having faith within your life, um, feeling inspired, but this is like more of a spiritual healing. Number 17 can be a significant number for somebody. We also have the number 19 and the high priestess is number 11. We also, I'm sorry, not 11, whoa, two. And justice is number 11, okay? 18 is the moon. So let's go ahead and get right into this. Let me fix this here for you guys. The Four of Pentacles energy with the Three of Cups and the Six of Coins. When it comes to the Three of Cups energy, you guys, this can be friendships or community or some type of social event. But with the Six of Pentacles energy coming in, there may be something here where someone's overly doing something, like overly indulging in something to where I feel that you may be at a place where you're not really wanting to engage with certain energies that indulge in either certain type of behaviors. So I am seeing the six of coins coming in um, as you may not, you may be blocking out these energies, okay? Because something feels very one-sided too. What's the justice? Someone is feeling a loss here. They may be trying to work 
or try to uh, maybe be concentrating on like their craft does show that when the five of coins is here this is somebody who feels left out in the cold this energy is pretty much um, feeling alone whoever this is mm -hmm. and they're stuck okay they're stuck in their old ways their old ways of thinking it's hard for them to unstuck themselves they're in their mind a lot and it feels it has to do with the eight of cups of somebody walking away or this detachment four of swords why is this here all right cancer Ooh, the king of wands is a super selfish energy so the challenge is is that somebody was being careless someone was being selfish maybe overindulging in some bad behaviors maybe having expectations for others but not themselves this energy of the king of wands can be very very weak and not taking the right actions it's just energy of not showing leadership this is more of a follower so it does show to me that somebody here maybe have followed the crowd or may have followed their desires and their wants knowing it wasn't good for them because even though the king of wands is known to be a leader someone who is inspiring and ambitious and inspirational this is completely opposite so i feel like you had to separate from someone or go into a new beginning because or for the month of november because of somebody's actions and their weak leadership there's that energy again someone is definitely stuck it feels like there's a waiting energy okay about walking away now if you you can if you are a cross watcher or you feel like okay well this is talking about the cancer i'm dealing with you could always vice you could always reverse the rules all right but i am seeing here with the eight of cups as somebody had to walk away because somebody kept returning to trouble but also now i feel there's a lot of regret because i do see that there is some type of regret it looks like somebody is making a decision they want to come they want to conversate for the month of november they want some type of truth but they're really feeling some type of loss because of their inconsistent energy queen of coins taurus virgo capricorn energy with the star there's an energy of uh, someone feels very insecure especially with finances there seems to be somebody here that's kind of compares their lifestyle to you but it's showing more of conflict than anything the star again is coming up which is number 17 and there's like this hopeless energy coming from this person or this situation feeling as if someone's giving up Okay. Mm. There's their actions again. Two of Wands. They made a decision. It looks like they are wanting to kind of work on something here. See, there's a commitment here in their actions towards you or behaviors. There's a want to commit to the situation. But due to their like following ways or their loss of like them not being them overindulging in something, it feels like this person can't be as dedicated or determined or to be at that level of consistency with you for some reason. It's just showing that. It's like they have these high expectations, but they can't even feel them themselves. They want to be looked at a certain way, but their lifestyle is showing much different. And the two of wands energy when it's here, well, when it's in the reverse, this is somebody having bad planning. 
a lot of over um, making a decision but now kind of like did I make the right decision like they're worried that they're they made the wrong decision there is some type of message coming in with the page of cups and the page of cups is can be a messenger it could be an emotional message love um, but there is some type of an awakening with the star and the tension is here coming in with the six of wands. There may be a new interest coming towards you, Cancer, but if there's not, then there's, a, if you're not looking for anything right now, it does show that somebody here wants to, there is some type of communication here or somebody wanting some type of attention, some type of recognition with the star energy. So it's like a healing type of message. We also have the outcome with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords with the Three of Coins and the Knight of Cups with the Empress energy. So there is some type of, there's like a want of somebody wanting to come towards the Empress to collaborate and to speak some type of truth. Because of all of these secrets behind here, it seems like somebody was, was having like some type of hiding something as hiding they were hiding something either some of you guys this person could be hiding a commitment but it looks like there is with the three of swords some type of reconciliation as in like communicating or getting clarity about something but for more for the empress energy there may even be yeah the king of swords somebody's really holding on to you here um but the ace of wands energy is coming in so there's this new creative type of feeling or inspiration or attractiveness coming in after a message someone here is definitely missing you we do have the sun okay but there's like a want to heal something in the month of november and to get that clarity, there may be an apology coming in or something in that way. But it does show like the outcome of the situation due to this communication. There may be even somebody wanting to start something up here or just try to spark a connection again because of their, their kind of regretting this. I'm going to grab one for the Ace of Wands. Queen of Swords. Yeah, there's some type of communication coming in with the Queen of Swords. And this communication is, it's more Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, more air energy. But this communication is being direct, being straightforward. This is honesty. This is somebody who is not wanting any BS in the outcome. So there is something here where the Queen of Swords is coming in in the outcome of this. So there's some type of truth. Like if you're wanting this, or say like, yeah, if you're wanting to come this and you want this new passionate beginning or however, there are some, there's some boundaries we're going to have to set. Like the queen of, of swords does not mess around when it comes to things. There may be a, um, whoa, a lot of deceit. See, the empress is coming in. So the empress has been lied to, to where the empress had to walk away from a very toxic energy, somebody who was either doing like addictions or playing with fire are just more on the dark side of uh, the energy. Their, their energy is very low. And the Wheel of Fortune here is showing some type of shift in energy or there's some like a turning point to where someone now is feeling regret and manifesting a new beginning here with you. And we do have the sun. So the sun is the most happiest card in the deck. Yes. And it's here. So either which way this goes, it's a positive outcome. It's a positive energy. But someone is not happy with the decisions that they made. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and grab, since it does show some type of separation due to this king of wands energy who is being, mm, they're being so stubborn and selfish and like, but they are, they have no power right now at all. All right, let's see what they have to say to you here.
respect. You deserve the best and I respect you and I want to do the right thing. It does feel like this person's wanting to do the right thing for you. But the thing is, is they're hurting themselves in the process. They are not being true. <clears throat> so also what I'm getting here, Cancer, or Sun, Moon, and Rising signs, okay, that someone feels very sad and lonely without you. They're very alone. Regardless how many people are around them, you're on their mind. But they feel like they're not a good leader here, okay? There's something about how they feel about themselves to where they feel like they need to respect you, even though how hard it is not to communicate. But I feel there's some type of like, like a moment of weakness or a moment of, of just wanting to get clarity, especially if you guys did not end well. Yeah, see, I feel like I can't get through to you. Please let me in. Secrets. I hid something from you, and I'm afraid to tell you about it. Defensive. I'm not ready to talk. I will only push you away. So they may be very defensive about communicating, or they may be in defensive mode that you may have seen their energy shift because of secrets they've been hiding. So, yes, this per we saw the double. We saw that this person is not doing well. There may be overindulgence. There is some type of loss and loneliness. And then we do have the King of Wands who's being very selfish. But it does show that there may be some things that were hidden um, where they feel like they needed to kind of do this on their own, whatever this may be. I know it's kind of hard to believe when someone like be betrays you or hurts you that they want to respect you, but I feel that there's something here where they just can't. If you found out what this was, you would look at them very differently, which I already feel a lot of you intuitively already know because the High Priestess is here. Yeah, so I will be writing you a message letter. And I know the clock is ticking for us. Won't you wait for me? So these are the messages, the untold messages that are coming in for you for the month of November. So you may be expecting a message from someone or somebody is maybe sending you something. There is a need for strong boundaries and truth and communication before anything goes any further, especially with that Queen of Swords energy. So make sure you're, I feel like whatever is happening, the Queen of Swords is coming out for truth and honesty. This person is asking you to forgive them. Friends and family disapprove of this connection. So somebody already, I don't know what I want. Yeah, this is an energy that is so scattered and I feel like that's what you're tired of. <laughs> you're like, okay, well, go figure it out and don't bother me. But forgive me, please, friends or family. So there must have been some things that were already talked about between the separation before between you and this person or this situation to where it's like even hard to even come together or see a future because so much damage has been done with family, maybe with friends um, due to the selfish behavior that caused, caused this or caused a separation. But it does seem like somebody here is definitely missing you. They are feeling pretty unhappy with the decisions. They are wanting more out of life. And I feel like they really want to communicate because remember ace of swords energy is communication it's it's some type of like f like somebody wants to focus on the truth here and i feel before anything happens you have to get through the queen of swords first and the queen of swords is not is going to know the truth and is going to make that decision with a clear mind so whatever's happening the, the intuition is involved here with you, Cancer, and so is the Queen of Swords. So it's you're going to have a clear mind. You're going to be very intuitive, and you're going to see. Like I know, you know, with the, what and whatever this message is, you're going to want this honesty, and that, that if something does not feel right for you. You're walking away. You're cutting this off. This is like the last straw for the Queen of Swords. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this here for you guys. I hope this message did help. For the month of November, if you guys are interested in a personal reading, I do have November open. I did open more slots for you guys. I miss lots of uh, appointments for you guys. So you can go ahead and click the description box below and hit the link and it'll take you to my website um, to make an appointment for me for a personal reading. So thank you guys for being here and God bless.